Harmony Plus 美国成长路上的 GPS。欢迎大家来到第二百一十三期微课堂。我们每周为大家带来分享。从二零一六年三月开始，风雨无阻，从不间断。在过去的二百一十二期微课堂中，已经有名校招生官、就业指导中心负责人、在美家长以及学生带来了他们精彩的分享。希望可以用这些在美学习的工作、生活、发展等真实案例，为大家带来更多的真知灼见。走出误区。如果您在收听我们的微课堂中有任何的问题，欢迎您及时私信我们的倪梦石老师，倪老师会竭力回答您的疑问。谢谢支持。Um, all right. Um, let's start our um talk show for today. And for our Zoom audience, if you have any questions during this. Seminar, uh, you may leave your questions in the Zoom chat box, and then we gonna have Q and A section after this seminar. And um, our today's uh, topic gonna be Kygos and other STEM online academic competitions. Um, <clears throat> first of all, uh, let me introduce our company a little bit. Um, Harmony Plus is the official partner of the leading universities. And institutions in the United States, such as UC Berkeley, Stanford in International Research Institute, and San Jose State University, we are committed to providing the top-notch programs to the outstanding local and international students. Uh, we have lots of like high quality online programs. Let me give you guys a little bit introduce for that. And first of all, we're going to have the academic programs like reading and writing, AP chemistry, also like AP literature, uh, also with the, some like uh, the standard test preparation, like SAT, ACT preparation, and also college pre-writing programs. We still have the soft skill like programs, future entrepreneur challenge, public speaking. We have the professor, uh, professor research programs like data strategy, strategic marketing, Internet of Things. Also, we have the unique uh, uh, college counseling. We call it future planning. We, all, we, we already have lots of students to get their dream schools offers beyond their expectation. And also, we have the unique learning module. We call it a hybrid, uh, hybrid learning platform. We have the online plus the offline. We have the school plus the student. We have theory prep, uh, plus the practice. We have the education and plus the services. How many plus working as a group to have the students and the family? All right, um, I'm, I'm really uh, honored to be here and to have our guest speaker today. Uh, let's welcome Dr. Zhang. Hi, Dr. Zhang. Hi. Hello, I'm Ram, Dr. Zhang. I graduated from Columbia University with a PhD in engineer. Uh, in the past few years, I work uh, as a quantitative manager at the American Express. I'm mainly responsible for reviewing all the machine learning models used in every department, such as the data science team and the marketing team. So I have wide working experience in the data science and the computer science field. From uh, um, four years ago, I began to mentor high school, college, and graduate uh, students attending Kaggle competitions. I have coached more than 200 students. Due to my high ranking and the medal achievements, I'm, I'm, I'm titled as a competition expert by the Kaggle website. In the most recent uh, competition called the Energy Prediction, my four student teams won one gold medal and three silver medals. Okay, thank you for everyone. And then we're gonna have today's agenda for this uh, like whole one hour seminar. At first, we're gonna talk our online academic competitions and also we have the like analysis of the uh, online academic competitions. And also we have the most important part for today to introduce the STEM online academic competitions. And also we got mainly to talking about the Kygos competitions. 
And uh, as we all know, due to this kind of situation, especially for this year because of the corona 19 every like summer schools, like the programs, they are uh, they stop or they are canceled. So that's why we have lots of challenge for, for this year. So that's why for the college planning and the application process gonna be like more difficult and unique than the um, prospect years. And also, um, for this year, we're going to face some pro uh, problems about their second semester grade from the school years because lots of schools, they changed their grading system from the letter grade to pass, no pass. That gave lots of students like pressure. They have no idea how to face this problem. And also, it's going to impact about the stand, uh, standard test. Uh, as we all know, the SAT and ACT, they already canceled the uh, March test and the May test but we still doesn't know about like others tests they're gonna go going or not. And also for the extra curriculum opportunities, because we are like locked down at home and then uh, for some like um, in-ground uh, like programs that are gonna stop, but for the Harmony Plus, we gonna have the online like extra curriculum opportunities for everyone. And then Dr. Zhang, I have some question about you. Um, would you please give us some um, like um, advantage from the academic competition, how that can, can be help the students? Uh, sure. First, the time is very flexible. You can arrange your timeline working perfect for you. Second, uh, it's possible to reach the best uh, mentor or culture because the location is not limited. You can uh, get, uh, get, uh, get contact with the, all the experts of from all over the world. Uh, certainly, um, it's more efficient. You save a lot of time on chores, such as a commute time and other little things. And also for the online competition, the information is uh, updated uh, uh, almost, almost every day. You can get the information shortly and uh, adjust your work accordingly. I think, so, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, so thank you for Dr. John. So after that, we already know they have lots of trees for the online competitions. And also how the online competitions can help you to stand out. At first, um, during the application process, we have to list all your like applications, all your activities, all your award on your like application form. And then, especially for the activity part, you can have more things to write because of all the programs, you are totally show up and pay lots of like things, pay lots of heart, pay lots of time on that. And still, it's also add value for your academic background that can make you be more stronger, it's better filled with your specific majors like computer science, business, or the social science, something like that. And also, you can have the unique experience for your college essay. As we all know, college essay is like the huge work in the application process. We have to pay more attention and time on that. And also, it's have the benefits to find an internship or a job because you already have the experience in this field. Uh, yeah. And then... After that, um, Dr. Zhang, would you please give us some ideas about the like STEM, the online like academic like competitions? Uh, yes. Uh, first, uh, uh, Kaggle is a world famous data science and computer science competition, and also there are other competitions uh, such as uh, KWHS, uh, Congression APP Challenge, Google Science Fair, and MIT Sync. Um, but I know if you are interested in the quantitative field, such as the uh, computer science, data science, business analysis, statistics, math, finance, and economics, Kaggle is definitely a wide, a wide way, a wide choice for you to join. Yes. Um, um, as I like, I researched something about Kygo. I know Kygo is really competitive and also it's world ranking. That means if you get like higher ranked, you're really like experienced and also you're really like expert in this kind of field, what Dr. John mentioned. And Dr. John, I would like to ask, what is a Kygo? Uh, Kygo is a platform for predictive modeling and uh, analytics competition. 
in which statisticians and data miners compete to produce the best models for predicting and describing the data set uploaded by company and users. First, you need to find a competition you are interested in. Second, you need to build your machine learning models. Finally, you need to submit your prediction and there will be ranking and medals. Usually, there are two new competitions every two or three months. No competitions in December and January. Uh, more than 3,000 teams will draw one competition and uh, could be individual or teams limited to four or five people. The competition usually lasts from two to four months. There are two ranking leaderboards. One is called a public leaderboard. It's real time updated during the competition and it's calculated with 50% of the test they set. The other is called a private leaderboard. It's final result for ranking and medals and based on the other 50%. So the final standing may be different from the public leaderboard. Yes, thanks for that. And then could you please give us more things about the medals you just mentioned before? Uh, yes, uh, junior competitions only have a ranking with no medals. Otherwise competition uh, have a ranking with medals. We'll introduce the, these, uh, these two types of competition in the next page. The medal is based on the result of private leaderboard. For example, 3,000 teams will join one competition. The first 300 teams will get bronze medal. The, the first 150 teams will get a silver medal. And the first 16 teams will get a gold medal. So it's very hard for, to get a medal for the beginner, considering there are many experts and working people in this field joining the competition. Okay, thanks, Dr. Zhang. As you mentioned, for this competition, we're going to have the student from high school, from university, and also we're going to have some uh, already working, like experienced expert from this kind of field to join this competition. So that gives us like more uh, strong stuff. And then if we got ranked for that, it's more like competitive and also it's valuable and reasonable. Um, as we all know, um, after that, uh, after our like after our re re review with everyone and then we got lots of questions we have the parents that would like ask how the kids can start with kaigo uh, because the kids is like already in high schools want to study something related to stem or computer science would you please give us some like advice like or like some like a suggestion how we can start with kaigos uh sure are you First, you need to pick, pick a competition according to your level and the, the area you are interested in. Uh, there are two types of competition. Junior competition includes getting started and the playground. There are very small data sets and you can apply very simple machine learning models to solve the problem. It's running all over the year with no timeline. Uh, it has no medals and only rankings. For people who already have knowledge and skill in this field, you can join the advanced competition, including featured and research. Uh, it's running from two to four months with timeline. It has both ranking and medals. Also, uh, based on the data set provided by the company, or school or research institute or Google because uh, Kaggle is uh, uh, acquired by Google a few years ago. So uh, there are four types of competition. Uh, first is the most popular competition, business uh, related, provided by company. It's a real uh, data side and a real problem uh, by the company. Second is the research topics provided by schools or research institutes. Uh, um, it's also uh, the second most popular topics. Uh, there are the other two topics that is less popular. Uh, one is called uh, national language processing. Uh, usually it's provided by Google, Baidu, uh, these IT companies. 
The last one is called the image processing. Usually it's provided by Google or other AI companies. I really recommend the, the beginner to join the business related, com uh, related competitions. Then you can use a lot of machine learning models to solve the problem. So you can uh, provide the admission company, com admi the admission community, uh, you have wide knowledge and skill in the data science field. Uh, in addition, I would like to uh, even more uh, uh, introduction about the Kaggle. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, NYU is the first uh, university to start the graduate program for data science. Uh, in the recent uh, two or three years, they use the Kaggle as the capstone project for their graduate student graduation project. So, so Kaggle is well known among all the school and all the professors who working who are uh, who are working in, in the data science field. Yes, I think Dr. John already mentioned Kaigo is more like famous and world like ranking side. Um, as as I as I know, um, for our like parents who would like to let their kids to join with the AMC, uh, what is kind of difference between the AMC and Kaigos? Oh, I think it's ACM. Oh, ACM! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so excited today. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, ACM is uh, mainly about the codium, so it. Um, has uh, uh, no uh, relationship with the data science field or quantitative field. And the ACM is off-campus coding context. As I know, it's canceled this year. So I think uh, Kaggle uh, becomes the only choice for the kids this year. Okay, that means like the team can be like more than before. So we need yeah. to prepare lots of them before, like make the better like rank or like the things from, even from the junior competition or the advanced competition. Yeah, and yeah, and also the thing is, uh, is there any like basic skill we need to prepare? Like what kind of like language, like programming we need to do? Uh, the attendance need, sorry, I think the last Okay, so attendants need a basic knowledge and a coding skill to finish a competition. Major is not a limit. You can see from the more than 200 students that I have mentored the past, their major is very diverse, such as computer science, business, data science, statistics, finance, economics, electrical engineer, math, physics, industrial engineer, and so on. Uh, you need T uh, two coding language, Python R, and also you need to know well in the statistic and the machine learning fields. Okay, um, uh, we have the questions from the parents is that our kids already studied something about the C, a C language. Is that qualif qualify for the Kaigos? Uh, yes, uh, if you have some uh, uh, coding background, um, uh, ex uh, ex uh, except the Python R, for example, you know how to use Java or C++, uh, I think you can begin to learn Python because Python is much easier than Java or C++. Uh, you can catch up very quickly. Wow, that's cool. Thanks. We already know some basic information from the Kaggle competition, from how they're ranked how we, we need to uh, feel the better like knowledge, like skills. And would you please give us some like the cable competition samples and you just lead like before? Yes, uh, we can start uh, from uh, one Kaggle competition called the Grid Energy Predictor. Uh, this is a website of the Kaggle. You can see one competition link includes the overview, date, notebook, discussion, leadboard, and the rules. Uh, we, uh, for, sorry, uh, last page. Uh, for this competition, you need to, uh, develop machine learning models to predict, uh, uh mentors building energy use, uh, users in four areas, chilled water, electricity, hot water, and steam. The data comes from over 1,000 building 
over a three year time frame. So it's a big data. Uh, we needed to predict the energy assumption in the future. Yes. And then um, I know that you already mentioned that's like quite like big data and how you can like help students to figure out what kind of things they need to, to do and then to fire, right? Yes. Uh, for this competition, I mentored the students uh, uh, about uh, seven weeks and uh, we divided uh, our job into four parts. First uh, part is called the EDA. Uh, it's a data analysis and visualization. We uh, uh, deeply dive with the hidden data structures from the big data. Uh, second is called the feature engineer. We added a lot of new features based on the domain knowledge or feature interactions to boost the predictive power of our machine learning models. A third part is called the machine learning modeling, uh, um, building and optimization. We choose four advanced uh, machine learning models. Uh, three, is, three is boosting tree models, uh, such as LightGBM, XGBoost, and CatBoost. The last one is neural network models called uh, CNN. We spend a lot of time to optimize these four models and we achieved a very good score in our local uh, uh, data set. And finally, we combine the results with the four machine learning models to get a ensemble result. And fortunately, uh, the result is really good. Uh, finally, uh, our students uh, are the first time to join this competition. Uh, fortunately, we, uh, our four student team uh, won one gold medal and three silver medals for this competition. You can see there are more than 3,000 uh, teams joining the competition. So this competition is really uh, very competitive. And so we, I'm very happy to see my uh, students uh, success uh, in this uh, competition. Yeah, thanks Dr. Zhang. You already mentioned you, you, you and your students only like spend around seven weeks about the whole project and then you got this kind of high ranking. That means you and your student already pay more attention on, the, on that and then you're really experienced and also like expert from this competition. That's why like can help the student in the short time and get higher ranked. Um, is there any like example you can give it to us? Like from like, cause I know this one is around about the energy field. Is there any, any others? Uh, yes. Uh, another competition is called the home credit default risk. It's a real business. Uh, uh, problem. I think uh, this is the hardest and the most complex, complex uh, competition during uh, my four years Kaggle experiments. More than 7,000 teams uh, joined the competition. Um, we need to predict the ability of each applicator to repair a law. Uh, it's very related to my, with my working field. You know, 2P, 2P, uh, P2P is very popular topic in the finance field in the past years. And uh, uh, even inside my company, we uh, hosted this competition together. Um, mm, yeah. Uh, so I applied my business knowledge to help students solve this problem. Yes, and you already mentioned this one is uh, like pretty related to our daily life. That means like about our credit, how the bank can release their things to us and how we can like uh, credit the money from the banking. So as you mentioned, like Kygo pretty related to our daily life and it doesn't matter to which field, but we can focus on like whatever you are interested in, right? And yeah. after that, either like, like I know for this one, you got like higher honor for that too. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so we have won two bronze medals for this uh, competition. Also, there are other very uh, uh, there are another uh, competition related to our daily life. Uh, it's hosted by the Google. It's called the uh, New York City Tax Fair Prediction. Uh, and also, uh, even though there is no medals for this competition. Mm, high, uh, high ranking is, 
is also a, a, a success. You can see we get a top three person the uh, ranking for this competition. Yeah, so as you mentioned, like from the different competitions, someone have medals and others only have the ranked. And would you please like give us like students some ideas how they can to to find the difference between the medals and ranked? Uh, there are rules in the competition website. So in the rules, you can see uh, if they said that there is a prize, there is uh, there is a medal. So if there, they say there is no prize, so there is only ranking. This is uh, one way you can tell. Uh, the other way is usually the junior competition getting started or playground. They have no uh, medals for the advanced uh, competition. Uh, they call the featured or researchers, they have medals. So there are two ways you can tell. Okay, thanks. And I, as, as we all mentioned, we have like the tire, uh, tax fair, we have the home credits, we have the energy. Is there any other like field we can do from the Kaigo competition? Yeah, uh, um, there are a lot of comp uh, competition related with the computer science. Uh, I can give you two examples. One, uh, one example is uh, image recognition. You, uh, you need to predict the model or car images for online used car startup. Uh, and uh, fortunately, we got one single medal for this competition. The other one is called the talking data competition. Uh, we need to predict the advertisement fraud detection. And for this competition, we won two silver medals. Uh, these two competitions are very related with computer science. I think for the first one is more related with the AI. The second one is more related with the uh, IT tech, um, technology. Okay, uh, we received some questions from the parents. They would like ask more stuff about the things you, we've just mentioned before. So I will jump to that PowerPoint and give you like more like great idea for that. They would like okay. to know about like this kind of difference like part and steps and how you can help the student with their like EDA part? Uh, first, uh, for all the competition, I will lead the competition. So I will uh, join the finish the competition. So uh, usually we meet every week. I will give students the work I already finished and I give them some brief idea about the, this part and then, um, uh, um, and then I will give them uh, uh, some homework or assignment this week for them to finish. After they finish the work, they will send back the result. So we will discuss it together uh, to evaluation their um, um, work, uh, work based on my Kaggle experiments. Uh, and that, um, each part takes a different uh, timelines. For EDA, you already take uh, one week to be challenging. We we combine feature engineering and machine learning together. So the two and the third part together uh, usually take uh, um, four to five weeks. The last week we will ensemble our result. Okay. And then also um, we have some questions about the first part of EDA. So as you already mentioned, we have a really huge like big data set for that. And then that's if we do the cleaning part, that gonna be lots of like challenge. How you can like help the student to achieve this like goal from the cleaning data part? Uh, uh, Kaggle is a good uh, platform since uh, the company uh, did uh, like 50% of the cleaning part. Uh, they provided very clean data. Also, we need to spend another like uh, another 50 time cleaning the data. So well, we usually start from the uh, analysis the missing value of the data set uh, and uh, choose the uh, best way to impute the missing value. And also we'll analyze the uh, outlier of the data set and uh, choose the proper um, method uh, to deal with the outlier. I think the, these two parts is the most important for the data cleaning. Yeah, and also for the like machine learning parts, you you mentioned like we need to do the four uh, four different modules, and it, is there any like difference? Can you give us some like uh, like briefly like generation like introduction from different kind of models you just mentioned from the machine learning parts? Okay, these four models are advanced models. 
Uh, even in my company, uh, IMAX, we use XGBoost to predict the credit score of each applicant. So, uh, and let GBM CatBoost are the two most recent machine learning models. Uh, they were uh, they were created by the like re by the researcher. So, uh, these two machine learning models are not widely used in the industry since they are too advanced. Um, so, for the three let GBM or XGBoost CatBoost, uh, they are all boosting tree models. And uh, for the CNN, its neural network is, is called a convolutional neural network. Um, I think it's uh, like part of the deep learning. Okay, so we have like different like data, we need to clean the data part and we have the knowledge, we have plus the kind of different like uh, machine learning modules for that. And after that, we're gonna come out with our results. How the results gonna look like? The result is a prediction. So for the uh, competition, you have two data sets. One is called the training data set, the other is called test data set. For the training data set, you have input and output. You need to build a model on the input uh, and the output. For the test data set, there is no output. You need to use, apply your machine learning model to predict the, the output. And, uh, uh, and then submit your prediction. Uh, in the Kaggle um, website, uh, the system has the real output data set for the uh, test data set. They will compare your prediction with their real data, and then they will give you a score. The score is a uh, ranking, and also the, uh, the final score is, uh, um, is used to produce the medals. Okay. Thanks a lot. You already mentioned all the like results is kind of, is like predictive. As, as I know, because I saw some news recently, there's like high school student like predict the Corona 19s. And then that guy can be very famous. So that guy have to be like, like have some thought with the Kygos, even though with some like R or Pythons and some models. Can you give us, can you share us some like the real like things we can predict after we study the Kygos, after we study these programs? Uh, for example, like in my working field, uh, uh, for example, like uh, American Express wants to send a personalized offer to the, uh, to all our customers. We will use machine learning models to predict which offer works best for the uh, our customers, and then we will send out that this will uh, highly enhance our marketing strategy and one of one our customers. Mm, wow, that's like really interesting. And mm -hmm. also the parents asked, would you please just give more detail about the first stuff you just mentioned from the energy part? Because they want to know like more like background, like knowledge about this project, how you guys can fund this project, how, how you guys can have this kind of achievement for that. So I will just okay. jump to that, to that PowerPoint and then you can have yeah. the back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, this part. Uh, yeah, yes, this part. Uh, for the energy, uh, this is a featured uh, uh, competition. So uh, I almost uh, like attended all the featured competitions all the year. And uh, uh, this competition started uh, last, uh, I think last in October. And also that's the end of our Kaggle sections. So um, we picked this uh, competition since uh, um, uh, it's very related with our daily life. Mm. Mm -hmm. And also like uh, two of my friends works in this field. One is from the Hong Kong University, the other is from Austin University. They, uh, have, they can help us in the domain knowledge. That's why we picked this competition and uh, we got very good results. Yeah, as you mentioned, if you want to have like the achievement or the like medals, you have to have some basic knowledge from the R or Python or models. And then we have to have some like expert from this like area. Like you just mentioned, you have friends from UT Austin, from Hong Kong University, give yeah. like more like real like knowledge from this field. Like everything is like 
ready, and then we can go higher chance. And yeah. and also uh, we have some like like already because like we are located at Silicon Valley because parents really focus on their kids' education about STEM. So we already have lots of questions. I think that's pretty related to, to this kind of like stuff. So I will ask at first. But after that, okay. we do have that Q&A with all the parents show up for our Zoom section. The first yes. gonna be like, uh, there's also a competition event called DACA. How would Kygo be different from it? Uh, sorry, I have little knowledge about the DACA. Uh, from my experiments, uh, Kaggle is the most fam famous uh, competition in the data science and computer uh, field. Uh, since I have a lot of uh, friends, uh, a lot of friends who are professor working in this field, uh, they all know the uh, the competition called Kaggle. I don't. I don't know whether they know other competitions if it's not a world famous. Okay, and so as we mentioned before, like Kygo is world ranked and also it's famous from the university, from the professor, from the like the like the flag companies like we just mentioned, like Google or Facebook or Instagram or something like that. Uh, and also uh, the thing is uh, they still have some things and what the background of the what did background of the high school student need to have from the Kygo um, I think uh, uh, the most important is you have the coding sense is more important because for other stuff you can always learn there are a lot of resources can help you learn our Python. the second part is your math part of uh, it's good. Uh, it's better to have knowledge in the linear regression. Okay, and also like the language is more important, or or the like you just mentioned, like the sense is more important. Uh, from the practical um, part, uh, the language is more important. Uh, since they are high school kids, they, I think. Uh, is their knowledge is limited, so they could not understand the algorithm very well. Uh, for the Kaggle competition, as long as you can apply your model to predict the, uh, to make predictions, so the language is more important. Okay, I see. Uh, like lots of lots of like parents already ask the stuff about our like programs. So let's jump to the programs, how we can help with the kids. Uh, so, uh, and also the, please leave your like questions through the Zoom chat boxes. We can collect that. We still have Q and A section later. Yes. And then this is what Dr. John did before, have the, like the highly stuff, got lots of models from different areas. So she's an expert from this field. Yeah. And then, like we just mentioned, lots of stuff about Kygo and how they're ranked and how that can help our lives, how we can like achievement, how we can success with our applications, with our assets, with our everything. And then Harmony Plus is the silver and want to solve the problem with the students and the family. So that's why we have the Kygo like programs one and two with the Dr. John. We already know her in this Zoom chat and also know the things, know the details, know how she can help the students to achieve their goals. And for the first one, it's gonna be like the junior programs. It's like five weeks start online and two weeks like junior cargo competition. And students gonna learning the basic like coding language what we mentioned before, like Python and R, and also data analysis and data visualizations and also the basic like skills from statistics and basic machine learning models. And also we have the homeworks and finals. And, and then we have like good environments. We have lots of students, we're working as a team and Dr. Zhang is like reactive and also would like to help students. Dr. Zhang, would you please give us more like overall about the junior sections? Uh, sure. Uh, for the junior program, first uh, we will have a uh, five weeks uh, online course. Uh, online courses. I will in, uh, give an introduction to each week. For the first uh, uh, week, we will cover the basic R and uh, how we use R to do the data analysis and the visualization. 
uh, we will learn our, our student, our objects, control statements and the data transformation. And we will learn two libraries called the deep layer and the ggplot2. That uh, these two libraries are most uh, popular libraries uh, to manipulate the data and uh, visualize data. For the uh, second week, uh, we will cover Python, the basic uh, Python, and um, how to use the Python to do the data analysis and the visualization. So the students will learn Jupyter Notebook, simple value and expression, list um, um, function such as uh, lambda, map of filter, list comprehension. Multi-list operations such as a map, zip, conditional, state, uh, string uh, operation, its structures such as size and dictionary, and the for and the while loop. For the for the library, we will learn four libraries: uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Cibor. Uh, I use these uh, four libraries uh, in my daily work. Uh, uh, for the week three, we will cover basic statistics and the missing value uh, imputation and the, uh, the first machine learning model, k nearest neighbor. So the students will learn basic uh, statistic concept and the stati um, statistic facial inference. And uh, we will learn a lot of methods of imputation. Okay, yes. For the week four, we will cover the linear regression. We will learn simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, region and Lasso models. For the week five, we will learn logistic regression. So we will learn logistic regression, um, uh, the ROC, AOC analysis. For the last uh, lecture, we will cover the simple uh, tree models, such as the regression tree and the classification tree. All our lectures will cover the basic knowledge algorithm, a case study, how to use R and Python to solve a real data problem. Uh, in the two junior competition uh, weeks, uh, we will divide our team to uh, different background. If you are interested in quantitative field, uh, such as the business field, uh, we will uh, attend the competition called uh, uh, house pricing. Uh, we will predict the final price of each home. Uh, for other kids who are interested in the computer science, we will attend a, a competition called uh, digit uh, recognizer. We will use a, a machine learning model to correctly identify digits from a data set of 10,000 uh, of handwritten images. Uh, mm -hmm. For all these two competitions, we will uh, mainly use the uh, rich loss model or random forest uh, uh, GBM tree models. Mm, yes, thanks, Dr. Zhang. And, and I think for here, uh, we already asked the uh, parents questions about the e, uh, DECA because the D, DECA is kind of like business competition. It's more focused on business. But for our Kygos, it's like world ranked and it's can kind of related for your business, for your computer science and for your like any like different difference like variable field from like each section and also after the junior sections we're gonna have the advanced like programs that's gonna be like seven weeks like programs and also it's two weeks advanced to, to, for the zooms and it's gonna be like six weeks about advanced can go competition and students gonna learn the advanced machine learning modules like what dr john mentioned before like xg boost and others and also still have work homeworks and finals and the most important part is we're gonna have two weeks professional report help of the college applications would you please give us like the over overview about advanced programs uh sure for the first uh, uh first seven uh, weeks uh, uh the the students are required to attend the junior program uh, um, to get the basic uh, knowledge uh, and the skills uh, for the competition. Uh, from uh, week eight, uh, we will cover the advanced uh, tree models. So we will learn backing and the most uh, tree models. For the backing models, 
we focus on the random forest for the boosting models. We focus on the XGBoost. boost. Also, I will provide the additional material, reading material for the light GBM and the cat boost. For the weak net, we will cover the neural network. So we will have the basic neural network and the deep learning convolutional neural network. For the week 10 to week 15, we will cover the advanced competition. So the, for the advanced competition, I said is uh, uh, with the timeline. So we will pick the most uh, recent uh, featured uh, competition. We will, I will coach the students from the beginning until the competition is ended to promise the students to finish the competition and get ranking or medals. For the last two weeks, uh, I will coach the students to produce the professional CAGO report. In the report, uh, we will cover all the work that we finished in the CAGO competition. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, like, uh, as I covered before, we will divide it into uh, four parts and uh, we will write our work and uh, upload it, our code in the GitHub. So uh, when you apply for the college, you can use it as a writing sample to present it to the admission community. Uh, for the advanced uh, uh, um, competition, we mainly use uh, the three trim or the live GBM, GBOS, the CATBOS, uh, and the CN to make a prediction. Okay, so we already know the junior and advanced, what kind of difference between the programs. Um, as, we went, as we mentioned before, if you really, if you focus or interested in our like business field or computer science field or like other field, you can always find the uh, like the feedback like stuff from the Kygo competition and also win something, earn the experience from your interest field. Because lots of like parents, they really like consider that, oh, uh, my kids just want to apply for the business or for the accounts, econ econ like the management field, is that going to be related from the Kygos? Because uh, many Plus did the future planning, like college coaching for the other students. We will highly recommend if your kids are uh, interested in like business, econ or management like areas, if you can do some coding part, that will like give the admission like surprise and think this case is more like competitive than the others. So for now it's like the knowledge and information like times. So every like field, every majors, like even though like business or bank or hospital, like every every everywhere, everything's we need the data. We need big data. We need to predictive the Futures, so that's why like Kygo can cover like lots of area and give more like different sections and also give like all the like majority things give us like more like predict give us like more like predict uh, predictive like in the futures and also and also they're like have questions about how the Dr. Zhang can help with the students. Uh, first of all, all the uh, courses uh, we uh, I will teach online uh, with Zoom. So we uh, it usually lasts from one to one half hours. Uh, first, uh, I will give lectures and uh, cover all the content, and then we will have the Q A uh, part. And also, I will share all the study research. And then we will have the class online from the Zoom and gonna be use the Dropbox to separate all the data set to everyone. And also it's like small class size and uh, like space limited. And also Dr. Zhang um, like offer like TA like assistance with the students as a group. So the student can ask Dr. Zhang and the TA like um, on time, so to solve their problems. And also for our programs, we're gonna hold during the summer times. For the first for, for our like junior programs, it's gonna start from the June, like middle of June, and end of like a, end of like July. And it's every like Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 7:30 p.m. like the in the uh, for the California time. And also for the advanced program, it's gonna start for the uh, first of August and end of like uh, October. It's still every Monday and Wednesday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. 
yes. And then if you have any like questions, you can connect us. And then we have the email, we have phone, and also we have the WeChat barcodes. You guys can uh, like scan that and ask ask our questions. Um, we already we already received lots of questions from the parents. They can ask if there are any like required or any like prerequisites for this. Um, we did the we did the mass test for all the students. If the student can pass the mass test, we are really like welcome the student and then to join our Kygo section. And it's gonna be like qualified for our like Kygo programs. Uh, I, we, re, we already like received lots of questions. So I will collect all the questions now. Uh, like um, uh, we have the parents to ask about the time, about the program. So I will jump back to this time sections. We're gonna start from, from June, and then we have the junior and advanced different programs. And also, uh, how many we have the parents, they ask how many hours, class time, and the home times like to estimate. From the regular one, it's gonna be for, from our meeting time, it's, it's from like uh, around one hour and 30 minutes, per section. So we have two, two meeting times during the weeks. And for the homeworks, as you have to spend around three to hours for the whole weeks. So that not uh, to uh, lots of heavy homeworks. Dr. John Gunn uh, like divided every like different homeworks to the students, to the groups. So we will have the lectures, we will have the practice, we will have the lectures, we will have practice to make sure the students learn the knowledge from the computer science and Kygo science, and then have the better practice and then keep continuing into the advanced like stage. And also uh, we have the questions that which grade level of the student can qualify from this program. Uh, as I mentioned before, we did not like really uh, separate the student into the different grades. We will let the student to do the application from the Kygo and then we will have the math test for them. So I would uh, add more information about the qualification for this program. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as the kids have a basic uh, coding sense, uh, so they can pick up the two language quickly. And also as long as the kids have some um, um, math uh, knowledge such as uh, matrix uh, calculation and so I think uh, they will be qualified for the Kaggle exam. So we will evaluate the, um, uh, the students case by case. So if you are interested in you can like chat with us. We will yes. give you a full evaluation. Okay and then the parents can ask that what's a professional Kaggle reports? What does it include? The question. Uh, okay, for the Kaggle reports, I said we will cover all the work we uh, uh, we finished the Kaggle, uh, so we will call, cover the four parts. I think it is in the PPT, the four parts we talked about before. Yes, okay, I will jump to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, we will cover the four parts in our, our uh, report. First, we will give an uh, overview of the Kaggle competition. Uh, what the competition is about, uh, and then we'll jump to the four parts. For each part, uh, we first uh, present the result, and then we analyze the result, and then uh, we uh, we will show how we improve the results. So uh, we will divide the report to these uh, four parts: EDA, feature engineer, machine learning models, and uh, in sample. Yes. Uh, and then would you please give us some like general uh, uh, things about the reports, how many pages can be? Uh, it's based on the competition. Usually it's more than eight pages, at least uh, eight pages. So that requires students have some like writing, writing skills for this report. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so I will jump to our like the, the, the class size about how we can help students about the more like details and overview about our courses and also keep like answering like the questions from the parents and uh, there's parents they would like ask the student will come from both China and the United States. Uh, I think for this part, uh, uh, 
is from the United States because I will teach this course in English. Yes, but if you're in China, we're, we're still welcome to join our section. And then we still have like students from China. But during the Kaigo competition, they have the students from all over the world. You can like meet them with the competition. And yeah. yes. Uh, sorry, if you are from China, you can join the other competition. I also have other sections for the students in, Ch in China. Yeah, so we have different sections. We have like the yeah. student from United States. We have the student from China. And also either like no coding knowledge uh, will be like possible to pass a test. Uh, the test is uh, only math, so no coding. So you okay, need coding so, yeah, that's welcome to do the test. If you're like, uh, we have the like, basic like math stuff and then we will have offered this kind of test to all the students. And if you can pass a test, you can join the Kaigo program with us. And, and also, uh, it, it, is it possible for the student to do the junior program first in summer and then join the advanced program in the future due to the time like confliction? Uh, yes, so, so for the uh, advanced program, so we have four sections each year. So uh, if you are interested in the advanced program, you can join the next year if the time complex. Okay, and 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 then uh, they said uh, for the kids is curtain in the tenth grade. Is there like enough time to be able to start the junior level and advanced level to the advanced like competitions? I think you can join the junior session first to see how much work you needed to do every week, and based on that, you can consider the advanced program. Uh, especially in this summer, I think most uh, students uh, have uh, no summer camp or volunteer or research project. Uh, so I think it's a good opportunity to learn all the skills this summer. Yes, I think that's like the good answer for those questions. Um, yes, I think uh, welcome to every student to do the, like, the math test with us. And then we can evaluate all of the kids from like different grades, from different like countries, from different background. And then we will start like our Kaigo programs. Um, uh, because of the time like I, from our like seminar, we can like to say like goodbye to everyone, but we're gonna still open the Q&A section um, after this. Uh, please stay in the Zoom and then you guys can chat with Dr. Zhang. Thank you, Dr. John, for your sharing. We already got lots of information from the Kygo and also the STEM stuffs. Uh, yes, it's like so. I I need to I need to like ending in Chinese because of because of we still have lots of Chinese audience in China, and then uh, 我们每次的微课堂的分享都不是标准答案，孩子的成长中也没有标准答案。我们试图用每个故事、每个案例，为大家带来更加广阔、广阔的视野，更加客观的认知，更加清楚的了解在美的学习、工作、生活、发展等这些问题。欢迎大家再次来参与我们的微课堂，也诚邀您可以把我们的活动传播给更多的亲朋好友。我们期待用分享传播更多在美的证件，带领更多的家庭规避误区。我们今天的微课堂就到这里了，谢谢您的关注。和参与，我们下期再见。